What is going on? What are you swimming? Badru, where are you not supposed to do that? So hello everyone and welcome to Planet Zoo. I am so sorry that it has taken like a fair bit of a while to finally get back to it. Um, just been super busy with life and um, of course Jurassic World Evolution, the new stuff coming out. And I, I was up to like four in the morning working on all those videos that day when I put out loads of them. <laughs> so yes, call me a little bit of a workaholic, I guess I am. Anyway, before we start, because we've got loads of cool things planned, I just want to say uh, I actually have merch coming uh, in the next few days. You'll find a link in the description below um, and it's like a countdown. So, or maybe it's already, it's going to release today. I'm not too sure when I'm putting this up. You have waited patiently long enough and I think it's finally about time that we uh, we went back to this park. I'm so used to saying park. Look, there's dinosaurs, okay? There's lovely pe- oh, Wait, how are you going to get in that? I think, I think it is going to drink. Yep, it's drinking somehow. <laughs> I'll not look into that too much. Petty wee. Oh, yes. Okay, before we get into the changes I've made here, I did because I want to add some new animals and stuff. Right, there is some people protesting. I think the protesters were coming over. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> They're protesting one of these ostriches. Now, if I go on this, which one is it? It's this one. See, but look, it's, it's going up now. Nutrition's going up. So what I want to do is... Send animal to storage in trade center. So what you can do, I didn't realize I could do this. I was talking with Rudy uh, when I was at the Jurassic World Evolution event. So I can go to animal storage, I think, and I can click. I can trade it uh, or I can release to the wild. So if we go trade, I can put up how many conservation points I want for Falad. Guys, I'm... If you are feeling oh so generous, please give Olad a, uh, a lovely home. I will put it up there. I'm not expecting anybody really to, to look for- She's very fertile. You've seen the ostriches in my part. They're very fertile. So maybe you'll, you'll have- Oh, it only goes up for an hour. You may see it when there's- If you see anything from Bablinki that's a thousand conservation points. I, thank you. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> so desperately need and they'll make for better episodes because I'll have better creatures. Anyway, so what have I changed here? Yes. Well, before it goes dark, we've got lights I've put up here. I've duplicated the um the stand, so we've got a little bit of an entrance. Now, one of these is apparently one of these is displaying wrong information. Now, this was before the bug was fixed, so let me just check. Um no, it still says displaying incorrect or unassigned. Yo! Whoa! I thought he was chucking money out. You see him there, that little kid. <laughs> Jesus. Luckily, oh, four, five thousand. We get so much money. Yes, give it. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, these animals are in there, but for whatever reason, it's not counting as such. So, oh, you hear that? The music. Oh, it's so cool. It's, oh, it's so ambient. We'll get in front of everybody. There we go. I mean, it does sound like a forest in the jungle. Oh, I'm getting major vibes. I get major vibes of being at a zoo, like whether it's like orangutan exhibits or you know what have you. <gasps> and I placed more feeders down here. Oh, why is there a mechanic coming over here? Look at that. There's so many over here. We've got so many zebra. Um, the buffalo, I think, have a mate now. I could be wrong. Now, there is. Um, well, we've only got two female somethings in here. I remember checking. There was two females uh, and no male. I think it was these guys. I could be wrong. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Also, I've made this place look a lot better. I put a lot more grass in the area just by placing these reeds a little bit lower. Um, I've placed a lot more rocks. So if we go, <gasps> hold your breath. Whoop, and we go down here. There's a lot more rocks in here. So it, it just makes it look, oh, look, there we go. There she's in. Hello. No Musa. Um, yeah, so we got some rocks just leading into here. Is that a baby? That is a baby zebra. Akachan des. <laughs> so cutie. Having a little drink. Well, kind of, you know, doing the best the game can do, I suppose. And to be fair, a lot of you guys have commented saying like, the way the animals interact with their enclosures is amazing. Like, look at the way they jump up onto rocks and the way they interact with exhibit. It's amazing. So we've added more stuff here. Uh, and the crocodile enclosure here. Um, I haven't changed it too much, although we do have babies. Let's, <gasps> hold the breath. Go inside. Oh, God. The camera the camera is weird. I can't get used to it. I mean, the, like, the anchor point's really far away or it's really... Oh, no! Oh, come on. It's July. Why is it snowing in... I know we're in the UK, but we don't get snow in July. Oh, God. Be prepared for the processes. Although, this will look nice in here. So, I have spent a lot of time in here. Um... Oh my god, I can't even tell you. Oh, this looks so cool. 
This looks cool. I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to go out of there, do you, really? Yeah, let's zoom in. There we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. So I've added a lot of lights in here. Oh, it stopped snowing already. Fantastic. Um, I've added the these the speakers. I think were here before, but I've changed so much of this. Added lights. I've even added shops. And there's people in it. <laughs> but, oh, there's nobody in that one. Uh, and out here into the winter wonderland. I have a plan. I have a plan to save the flamingos. Are you ready, guys? The thing is, when it came to... Oh, hold on. Yeah, I just want to make sure you guys know how much work went into this bloody thing. So the planks, like the floor themselves, I may have gone over it myself. But each one's a separate plank. Which has incredibly increased the object count. Now, if we do get lag, I will delete uh, things. Uh, as well as these, like, each one of these is like a separate plank that I ended up having to uh, place down. Um, so there is a lot of work that went into this. <laughs> Not trying to toot my own horn, it's just, just so you guys know. Look at the snow on the top of that. Oh my god, yes, there you go, with t-shirts. I'm not surprised. Minus two. Oh, now it's August. Okay, okay, I guess that makes sense. So we're gonna go into construction. We're gonna go into, hopefully... There it is! Clive the Dodo! The protector of all of the, um, of all the flamingos. So what I'm thinking is we can give him his own... <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute! He's smiling as well. <laughs> I love it. Skeeters. Now we need a, we need a place of in some kind of kind of rock. So we'll probably just go into nature. I think we don't need to really worry about getting a specific kind of rock as long as it looks. Oh, that's a big rock. We'll not go for that one. That's not too bad, is it? And then oh, I'll tell you what. We can even have more fun with this. Um, and we can get a smaller rock to sort of sip. Sip, sip on top. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big for a 10. <gasps> I didn't expect that. Okay. We can get this smaller rock. Um, yeah, I realized if you hold shift and you do all of like the Z's and stuff, you can get rocks to just fit inside other rocks. That rock there. And then we can move uh, Clive on top of it. And now the flamingos will be safe. There we are. No! <laughs> I was so used to clicking escape. I was like, back, but escape is just delete everything you've just done. So there we click. There we go. Classic sculpture of Dodo limestone. I think what you mean is yes. There we go. I also need to name these exhibits. So, Flamingi. <gasps> Look at the crocodile. He's so big. And I know it's a he because the, the, the male is the huge. I like. Oh, yeah, they are the cutie. <laughs> They're making their little squawky squawks. There you go. So I've also uh, tried to fade this in here a little bit better as well. So it just gives this natural look and you've got some light shining. I mean, really, I need to focus on lighting up these exhibits a lot more. To be fair, I could spend 20 hours and only have finished the crocodile and this off, to be fair. Because <laughs> look, look at this. I did want to put some more buildings next to it, but it looked really weird. I kind of like this open bit. Oh, look at that bison. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's right. Pronghorn. Yes, we've, only, we've got two males. Lucas, you guys loved uh, stress. Oh, dear. Is he finding it stressful? Oh, oh, is he just going away? Is it stressful being close to the bison? Do not care. They could be stabbed and they wouldn't care. <laughs> just a flesh wound. Yeah, and I need to do something with this outside bit as well. Just, you know, I don't want guests to feel like they're... They're trapped, kind of. Oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're looking at the flamingos. <gasps> they're looking at the flamingos. So, yes, I want to name this exhibit. We will, uh, when day comes, uh, start working on a... Oh, pig me. Sorry, I, I get so wrapped up in it. So sorry, guys. Are there people? Oh, yes, there are. There are loads of them. Now, the reason why they don't go all the way through is just because there's nothing on the other end. <laughs> there's just, like, a long walkway. You can hear the waterfall. Oh, it would be so cool to have, like, a waterfall. As if, like, on the sides. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yes, we definitely need to do that. So much. Also, I didn't realize that the, uh, the path is a little bit weird when it gets to around here. You have that railing going. Um, hold on, we can shift click if we do this. Yeah, and we're finally getting daylight. We can start working on things. Yeah, that would be awesome if we had waterfalls cascading down the side of this area. So it really does give the illusion that you're going underneath. Oh, oh that guy's happy. He's like, I love crocs. 
Oh, is he looking at the bins? Oh, it's glitching out. It thinks he's like looking into an exhibit, so it's playing the animation. <laughs> when really, he's just staring at the green bin while doing it. I mean, is the crocodile there? I mean, the baby's there. So he could be looking at the baby. Baby's having trouble. Having trouble drowning. <laughs> oh dear, downward facing doggy style. There you go. The kimono komodos. There we go. I'm coming up with amazing names. We've got A is for aardvark. <laughs> kimono komodos. And um... Oh, yeah, the great yeehaw plane. <laughs> oh, I'm just amazing when these Okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh, we are in the blah red. We are very in the red. Very in the red. What's going on now? Is it construct cash, cash flow? Hold on, pause it. We were on 20,000 and now we're on five? Whoa, incomes went down drastically. We need to put up them ticket prices. Whoa! Is that an albino warthog? There's loads of albino- 15 for that one. Is there more chance of it giving a albino gene if you do that? Although, he is 8.4 years. Oh my god, I didn't realize. <gasps> oh, well, tell you what, we can get way better. We can get way better here. Ooh, 92% size gene. Okay, we'll get that one. And what about what she got? 50%. Oh, she's just tiny. We need a big girl. Chunky. Ooh, 100% size gene. Lulu. She's only two. Whoa, we get an albino. Heck yeah. I was going to say, are all albinos like really good star ratings? But not necessarily. Although saying that, that's 750. Ooh, okay. But there we go. Right, I wanted to try something different with this exhibit, so give me a second, guys. Let's get that montage underway. Oh my god, this is a really good idea, actually. I never thought about this, but just like having the, it's almost like the dirt is acting as a mortar or a cement to fill in all of the cracks and crevices of the rods, just giving it more of a, a realistic feel. Now the back of it looks really good. Of course, get rid of all of that stuff, but yeah, that's gonna look much better. three thousand dollars left um i think what i need to do in order oh, look at that look at clive so proud and majestic actually before we do anything i'm gonna save because i don't know how long we can keep this up for if only we could have information boards on clive oh you know what would be a good idea actually not only did we have like this information board here and i want to fill in the ground around this as well because you, you you're quite far away from the fence um, I don't know if you can even move the fence, like, a little bit closer. Oh, no, we really can. Wow. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I should have just done this from the, st <laughs> from the start. Just move the, uh, move the fence all the way to the path. Oh, that's great. There we go. Now I've made it look so much better. Look at this. We can we put one in between? Oh, oh, did it tear cut? Oh, oh. But I can add one in between here. And there we go. Now it looks really nice. Oh, that's fantastic. Dodos no longer exist. And that's kind of our fault. So if we can help educate in whatever way possible, I'm all for it. Turn you around. Put you in the ground a little bit. And there we go. You need to be assigned stuff. Amphibian, have we learned more stuff? Poaching an exotic pet trade. We've already got that. Oh, oh, there you go. Land sharing versus land sparing. No, we'll learn about the bees. The bees. Uh, also, let's change the colors. There we go. Pinku. Beautiful. And we need to actually assign this to the greater flamingo. There we go. There's not enough pink. I need more pink. Ooh, no, we do have pink flowers. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, no, there's a tiny spot. Viewing Flamingi. Why am I loving this so much? Why? Why is this bringing me so much joy? There we go. That looks better. Need the rock a little bit that way. Can we change the color of Clive? 
Sculpture of Clive. No, classic sculpture of Clive the Mighty, I think we need to call it. Protector of Flamingis. Now the best bit. This is what you've been waiting for. The flowers. I know, I know, I know. I don't let you down. I don't let you down. <laughs> Where's the nettles? We need nettles. This is England. Get too close to Clive and you get stung. He protects the flamingos, not the human beings. We don't want to put that in the flamingi exhibit though. Don't want them chomping on that. Not that they would, because they're not vegetarian. Oh god, there's- Oh jeez, I didn't see the squid! Oh <laughs> good god. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> you know what? Sod the stat, I can do one better! Let's get some- let's get a wooden beam and let's color it pink. <laughs> there it is, it's beautiful! <laughs> oh, and how long- I've re okay guys. No word of a lie, I've been recording for an hour. What have I done in this hour? To be fair, we have made like a, a, a pretty decent sort of enclosure for the warthogs. I want them to, like this is where they're obviously gonna uh, sleep and stuff. Uh, I'm thinking they can come up here, come up high. Maybe we can, I need, I mean, hopefully they won't jump over that. I think you can easily check, can't you, by just going into here and then, um, I don't know what it is. There's something you can check. Um, and it'll tell you habitat. Yeah, there you go. Jumpable, escape joint, and all that jazz. So that probably would have shown in that area there, definitely. Um, but we'll, I mean, there's only one way to find out, and that's to test it. So they've got stairs also. I'm thinking as soon as I click play, we're going to have a waterfall come out over here. So if the warthogs want to, they can either come up here, walk down and into this area, or they can walk across the side. Um, I need to give them some incentive to go there, though. Um, but, without further ado, and, oh, hold on, because we've only got 2,000, um, kind of need to, uh, do a similar thing here. All right, well, now, I think what we need to do is have a look at the species. I think it's called the common. Don't like that, makes it sound like, you know, it's, ooh, that's the common warthog, ooh, no. Where's the Poseidon warthog, huh? Yeah, I want that! <laughs> Filipinos represent, eh? Yeah! Okay, we can also give them heaters in their bedroom. There we go! Two of those. Um, oh, they got a little barrel. We can put it up there, little barrel up there. Um, uh, wait, a cardboard box? That's just an enrichment, it's just a cardboard box? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll have that! Mud bath and forage box. Ah, oh, damn, these are big things. Because I, I, I mean, it looks really cool, but at the same time, I want them to be able to have fun with their environment, you know. That's like way better. <laughs> well, James, I'm very good. So what do we go for, a forage or a mud bath? You can, ooh, we can watch them take a mud bath right there. Or we could give them a forage. Okay, you know what? There's only one thing left to do, and that is actually to move them in. There we go, Habitat and the albino female Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Oh, yeah, you see straight away. In fact, I'm just wondering if we can get, oh dear. Because I want it to be like a secret hidden place behind the waterfall. So, um, if we just lift that up. Hold on, guys, two seconds. Oh, we're making a profit. We're making a profit. I don't know what happened. But we're doing it. Oh, I found him. I found him. Oh, God. Frick's sake. Give me the other ones. Oh, he's right there. Yes. Group them. For the love of God, group them. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we want this to be whoop, pushed out probably that much. And then if we click play, whoosh. Now, but now I can just grab one and then move it. So if we have it maybe like that. Is that good? Nah, it's still. We'll make it a little bit lower. And then a little bit out. And now all I need to do is somehow hide the floating thingies. So something like if we have that and then we command exit and we rotate a little bit, a little bit like that. So it looks like, it looks like kissy lips. <laughs> we call it kissy lip fountain. Move the back a little bit. There we go. I mean, really, we need to we need to make some rocks around it just to bring that out a little bit. But how are they doing? Are, are they here yet? Oh, I didn't even give this. Um... More bees! 
Uh, oh, did I just see them? You just chucked them into the rocks, didn't you? Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. L Lulu, you were so much smaller. Yep, they are. They are, they are not happy. Um... Okay, pause this. So, also, we need to change the terrain. Now, I realize just because these guys are stuck probably means that the, uh, whoa, the zookeepers will also be stuck. And that is never good. So, I'm just going to grab. Yeah, it, it's, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll also move this hour here. Okay, okay, there we go. There we go. Are you happy now? Yeah, there we go. The magic of boxing. Move to here. Whoa! Are you guys okay now? <gasps> oh, you should be. Oh, oh, look at him. He's looking at his surroundings and so is she. Oh, they're they going in together. <gasps> okay. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. There isn't... Oh, are you injured? Oh my God, you're injured already. Is that... Whoa, whoa. Okay, now that must have been the animation trying to get over this. Now, in honor of Lulu, we should definitely have one white and the other one like a brown. Yeah, there we go. And then we can actually switch. We'll switch the other one the other way around. So we'll have that brown and that one white. Does it actually make any difference? Uh, oh, she was targeted by the vet. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. She just all of a sudden got taken by the... Uh, the box there. Um, the box. The box. Animal has avoided capture for a long time. Perhaps. Whoa, what? Wait, how? How would you? How did you get over here? I can't even emergency capture because we're in minus 4,000. What just happened? Uh, call vet. Um, do we have any more? Animal has avoided capture for a long time. What? What? Are you swimming? What is going on? Why are you swimming? Badru, we are you not supposed to do that? What? Dangerous animals escaped. Yeah, uh, Lulu is in the vet. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at her. Oh, bless. Now, th look at the level of detail they went to with this. This is so cool. Any other game, it would just be blacked out, right? But no. She gets it in a box and fair enough, she walks through the thing, but... Look at that. I mean, the vet is actually really far away. Uh, so we probably need to... Animals will fight due to incorrect... Oh, the... is there too many ostriches? So sorry, dude. You guys just keep... Oh, you know what? I'm going to release you to the wild just for some instant trading points. There we go. And I'm... I'll sell another one. Um... It's so hard to keep an eye on these guys. Oh, Burhan. Naughty Burhan. You get sold. And we're at minus 7,000 now. Fantastic. But I did get a four-star rating, so I claimed that reward, and now I'm only on minus 5,000. <laughs> okay, okay, we're on the up, though. As long as I don't spend any more money on stuff, we should be good. Wow, there really is just too much, uh, too much soil here for you, isn't there? I never thought uh, warthogs would be this fussy, but apparently so. Now the feng shui's all off. I made these rocks to fit in with the dirt. Oh, God. You know what? That'll do. That's that. That's your lot. That's all you're getting. We'll also have this display common warthog. And actually, wow, we haven't even been into research in ages. I just wonder how many things we've done. Uh, Saltwater crocodile, all done. Uh, what about the mechanics? Ooh, classic theme is good. Ooh, fantastic. Okay, let's have a look. What vet? Vet research. Um... I, I can't even remember which ones are supposed to be researching things and which ones are just veterinarians. Okay, well, we'll max out you. We'll get you on warthogs. Um, and I think we're all good. Okay, how how is everything? Oh, she's already over here. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, God, that reminds me. Because we've... Do we have this in a work zone? Oh, God, we've got things not in any work zone. Oh, that's no good. So work zone one. Oh, <laughs> Okay, this is the happiest I've been from this. <laughs> I mean, I thought we were done with flamingos. I really did. But then look at them. Adult population still not there. They need more. Good Lord. Um, I feel like we're going to get some inbreeding or something, aren't we? If we're going to... If they keep on just... If we just keep them all in there, right? Well, this is ancestors, right? So, hey, who knows? How are the warthogs doing, though? 
Oh, God, I completely forgot about plants. Enrichment, they need some species toy enrichment. Ah, okay, okay. Well, I can't at the moment buy any plants. So you'll, you'll kind of just have to wait. I hope you're going to be okay. Oh, well, you can climb down that. Really? What? You're not supposed to be able to do that. You're going to do it too, aren't you? You're going to do it. You're not supposed to... Oh, insufficient funds. Oh, God. I can't do anything. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. We fight a lot of people. Hopefully... I, I apologize. But um, maybe we'll see uh, we'll, an increase in some... Any money? Any money would be great. And only 53? That's ridiculous. We need more. We need a donation pot over here. Oh, Oops, I forgot. I can't make one because I have no money. <laughs> I was like, why can't I place a donation pot then? Oh, <laughs> Clive, we must pray to Clive, please. Protect the, <laughs> protect the wallet. What? Oh God, we're on minus. What is costing us so much money? What? We did 9,000? What's going on? What? The, what's costing us so much money? Like a grand, 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 grand. Refunds? 19,000 for a refund? What's going on? Guests. Education, low. Hunger, thirst. I knew I should have brought an umbrella. Well, that's not my fault. Oh, minus 12. Okay, it's because there is no vendor here. Oh, Lord. Okay, no wonder I'm getting some. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You're still out. Uh, can I sell trees for money? How come it increases my losses? Oh, it costs me to remove it. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> oh my God, I can't seem to get below. And why is there no vendor here? What's going on? Oh my God. Why were you? Why were you? You're idle. You were there doing nothing. What is your problem? Get in there. You're the reason we're losing money. No one can buy drinks. <laughs> Please tell me. Why, why are you in no hurry? Oh, thank you. The love of God. Sell some drinks. There you go. Are you going to finally get him? Are you going to finally get him? Come on, he's right here. Where, where are you running to? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Shoot her! Yeah, there you go. I'm struggling now to get below 13,000. Minus, the, how did this happen? Okay, so apparently, I went down minus 26 grand because of refunds. Now, I don't know... What caused all those refunds? Oh god, we got another one now. Another baby's escaped. Okay, okay, that's it. I, I need- I, there's so many of these damn ostriches. And there's another one. There's another one's just got out. Whee! I'm just in Groundhog Day. <laughs> you're getting these vets, um, you're, you're giving them the runaround you are. Oh, look! 2,500, have no crime for three months. Awesome! Oh my god, at least we're on minus 7,000 now. Oh, I see you! I see you. Look at this. Look at this. That's it. That's how they do it. They just climb and they're just going to teleport. Multiple animals have low welfare. Yeah, they're probably all in there, aren't they? Oh, Komodos. Oh, the Komodos fighting. Uh, oh, there we go. The Komodo fight. Uh, that's probably because there's too many of them. Um, oh, God, there's loads of females. Okay, we'll release you to the wild as well. And boom. Welfare done. <gasps> Chiku is about to mate! Oh, that's so cute! Yeah, you guys will be fine, I bet. Do I do I want to watch this? I don't know if I want to watch this. I can hear somebody pooping. Oh god, that, that's not mating! You know what? Just let them. Just let them run about. I don't care. They keep on coming out here, and I can't check. Okay. Oh, you know what it is, guys? We're gonna leave it here. I'm hopefully. Oh my god, fingers crossed. I will be able to get this under control. I do I think it was just the minus 26 grand of cash that did me over. I don't know why that was. I don't know why just everybody all of a sudden just requested refunds. Um, I, whether or not there was just too many people in the park and they, they couldn't find anywhere to drink or... I really don't know. I don't know where all those refunds came from. Because if we have a look at our cash now... Uh, ongoing expenses, refunds. We're only, it was minus 30 grand. I haven't had 30 grand in a long time. <laughs> I've been so focused. Spending all my money on making that nice. 
spending all my money on making this look sort of nice. And now, boom, I've um, I've been hit by a wave of refunds. Don't know why we, we had a swimming hippo in the middle of nowhere. And Clive, damn you. You supposed, Well, to be fair, he protected the flamingos. So that's all right. But apart from that, good grief. <laughs> but anyway, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, we'll get this we'll get this zoo under control. Don't worry, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.